This is an extra credit video, and it's Dibar Maschal Shmuel Amar Bafela Shano. So Dibar Maschal Shmuel is usually how it's called. Dibar Maschal means the heading is Shmuel. Now the Mishnah says that if someone puts a card in Rishas Arabim and someone else stumbles on it and he breaks it, so he's Potter. The Gemara asked, why is he Potter? You should look where he's going. So we gave three answers. Shmuel, one of those three was Shmuel, and he said that it's talking about when it was it was dark. So Teisvis is bothered by a question. He doesn't ask it as a question. He immediately goes into the answer. But the question is that later on, on Daf Chavtes, if you just look ahead over here where it says Daf Chavtes, Daf Chavtes is a machlekes, um concerning if someone slips or stumbles if he's considered Peshea. Peshea means negligent. And um, if it, Peshea is like the word Peshea. Peshea is negligent. So there's a machlekes between Rabbi and, and the Chachamim if someone who slips if he's negligent. Now over here it seems that everyone would agree if it's dark that he's potter, even though over here he's tripping. But according to that one opinion later on that says niskal is peshe and niskal is negligent, it would seem that you should be chayev. So Taisus immediately begins, Ushmol amr b'afei l'shanu, Shmuel says it's talking about when it's dark, v'hod depligi l'kaman, and this that they argue later on, which we said l'kaman is later on, but if we said that's on daf chav tes, where on chav zayin amad bez, so they argue, e, e is if, niskal peshea hu eloi, is niskal a peshea or not? So why over here is there no machlaikis? It just seems that everyone would agree that you're going to be pater. So Taisvus answers, kegoin she niskal me'atzmai. Over there, they're arguing when a person slips on his own. Vilei niskal b'shum dover, but he didn't, he didn't strip over something. Shum dover means anything. Dover is a thing, and shum dover is like anything. He didn't trip over anything. But here, over here, it was because of a stumbling block. Then, and he did not have to see where he's going because it was dark. So, so then he's considered a real Aynas, and everyone would agree that Niskal is not a Peshea, rather, Niskal is an Aynas. So, all we said that, um, if we would put over here, Niskal. Peshea, Peshea is machlaikis. That's only if it's, um, that's only if it's niskal meyatzmai. That's only if he slipped on, let's say, like a, a just a plain floor. He just tripped over his own feet, or uh, just slipped on a regular floor. No reason to trip, to slip. However, if it's, um. Kule uh, alma moidim by niskal b'shum davar. Or, or let's take that off. We'll do michshal. Michshal machmas. Michshal. So kule alma moidim. Then it's. Aynas Upater. Okay. Now, Taisvis has one other issue that he has to resolve. The Gemara earlier said that Adam Muad La'aylam. I'll write it on the side. It says Adam Muad La'aylam. That means a person is always going to be. Whoops. La'aylam. A person is always going to be responsible for what he does. So Taisvis says, Va'afal Gav, even though Dela'el above, or previously, Marbina Ninus Karatsan, we learned that an accident is just like willingly, but Adam Hamazik, by a person that causes damage, and we learned it from a Pasuk, it says Petza Tachas Patza, means a, uh, a burn from a burn. So, and we said that Oynus, so we said that an Oynus is just like, uh, if he did it, if it was a, um, you say Oynus, not, not by accident, Oynus is uncontrollable. So, we said that even if it's uncontrollable, you're still going to be Chayiv. But Oynes Gamar Le Rabbi Rachmana. Rachmana is Hashem, the merciful one, or, or the Torah. And Oynes Gamar, a complete Oynes, I'll make a uh, hyphen over there. Oynes Gamar, a complete Oynes, Le Rabbi Rachmana, that you're going to be potter. So Adamod Laelam Aval Oynes Gamar is potter. By the way, we learned this from. Um, if a girl is raped, obviously she doesn't get punished. And that's 
she, she wasn't able to control that. So therefore, even though a person is responsible, but if it's a real Linus, it's totally uncontrollable, then he's going to be Pater. Thesis brings three examples for this, and I wrote on the side the example. The first one is if a person goes to sleep, and someone lays down uh, next to him or puts something down next to him, and he damaged, the first person damages it while he's asleep, so there he, he would be Pater because it happened while he was asleep, and that he wouldn't be able to control. Of course, if it was there before he went to sleep, then he would be responsible, but if it came after he went to sleep, even though he's slightly conscious of what's around him, but not enough to to know not to damage it. And um, he, the next case is if um, Yusayimim, orphans, they slaughtered a cow that they that was in their father's possessions after their father passed away. They didn't know that it was a borrowed cow, and they thought it was that it belonged to their father. So they don't have to pay for the cow, but they do have to pay the benefit that they got out of it. Now that's a proof that. Um, even though they, they caused the damage, they slaughtered this cow, could have been a very expensive cow, but they only have to pay the, the cheapest price for meat. They don't have to pay the full damages. It's called mashinanu, the benefit that they had. Um, so we see another case where a person is not responsible for uh, something that's uncontrollable. He wasn't, he, didn't, he wasn't able to know that. And similarly, in, um, in, in Babakama, we have a Mishnah. Two people are walking, actually had it earlier, we, the Gemara quoted it, um, a barrel and a beam, and one of them stopped, and the, uh, if the owner of the barrel stopped and the, and the beam broke, uh, the beam broke the barrel, the barrel broke, so then he's going to be putter, um, the person who, uh, the, 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 owner of the, the owner of the beam would be putter, um, because how was he supposed to, he wasn't able to control that the person in front uh, the owner of the barrel stopped. So, okay, we see three examples where an accident, a person's putter, even though it's a person uh, that's causing the damage. Not, it's not an accident, it's uncontrollable. However, Taisvis says, and here's the Chiddush of Taisvis, Venera uh, Ledaktik. It seems to, um, Ledaktik means to, to, um, spec to, uh, to clarify specifically, the other mamazik, the miftar ba'inas, that when a person is putter by an inas, that's shuhu ken geneva, that's only if it's an inas similar to geneva. So I'm going to explain this as follows. And I'll just make a, a little chart over here. This should do, uh, let's go like this. Let's do um, shia. Um, geneva ve'aveda. And then we'll do Inus. Okay, now we'll go like this. And then we'll put over here, we'll do Shemer Chinam. Shin Ches will stand for Shemer Chinam. And Shin Shin will stand for Shemer Sachar. Of course, there's also a Shoyal. Okay. We'll leave out the Sachar. That's a Machlaikis for me. Maybe here they will leave that out. Thank you, Mati. So, um, obviously, all pshias are chayev. I'll just put in chayev. Chayev. Hashem Echinam is chayev. Am pshia Hashem Echinam is chayev. Hashem of course, is chayev. Okay, Gnev Vaveda Hashem Echinam is pater, but a Hashem Echinam is chayev. And the shayel is chayev on Gnev Vaveda. And Aynas Hashem is chayev as well, unless it's Mesa Machmas Malacha or a total Aynas. Um, Shemr Sachar is Pater. And Shemr Chinam, of course, is Pater. Okay. Now, we have a person, we have an Adam Amazik. There's the Adam Amazik. Now, which type of Hezek is he going to be Pater on? So, of course, if he does a Pshia, he's going to be Chayev. If he does Geneva Vaveda, well, we see that a Shemr Chinam is Pater on Geneva Vaveda. Uh, maybe he wasn't responsible, but if a person goes along and slips on something or he causes some sort of damage, like one of those cases before, which we said was a case of an inus where he's potter, but uh, in, we are in this area, we, we're dealing with this area, would we say that an other mamazik is potter? You tell me immediately that maybe it's not in this area at all, maybe it's only by an inus. So let's see. 
near Ladaktik, Dadam Mazak Mifter Ba'inas Shuken Gneve. Taisa says that an Ainas that's similar to Gneva, you'll actually be putter on that as well. It brings a case where porters are carrying a barrel and they broke it. So uh, the Gemara over there says that if he's a Shemr Chinam, then he's going to be putter. If he's a Shemr Sacher, he's going to be Chayev. So, and so uh, that case, we, we're comparing it. Sorry, I'm moving this around. He's comparing it to a a uh, case of Geneva where you're going to be an uh, Adam Amazik, the person carrying the barrel, is going to be Pater. Now, let's point out what Taisa says over here. Abel Bainashu Ken Aveda, an Ainus that's similar to a loss. So I have to move this because the whole page doesn't fit in. Uh, maybe I can shrink this up a little bit. No, that'll do. Yeah, that's better. Enough you can you can see it now. So uh, we're right here. Aval Bainashu Ken Aveda, but an Ainus that's similar to if you lose an object, she Shikravalapshia, that's closer to a negligence. Yoiser, Shikravalapshia Yoiser. Kedamrinan Bashaya, like it says in Ashayal, that Gneva Kravel Ainus, Vaveda Kravel Lipshi, and near the Adam Mazak Chayev. It seems that an Adam Mazak that would be by Aveda would be Chayev. That would be actually Chayev. Let's make a little line and take it over there. Chayev. Okay. The EF Shalaymark, because it's impossible to say Shalay is Chayev Ala Bipshia, because we said that an Adam is, Adam Mazak is Chayev, right? Now, a pshi, of course, is chayev. Adam amazek is chayev. Okay, to say is chayev on pshia, that's no chiddush. To say is chayev on, to say is pater on oinsim, okay, that we had a pasuk. Well, in our lease, You don't do anything to the girl that was raped. Um, to say that he's chayev on geneva, that we kind of proved that he wasn't from the case of the porters that are pater. Um, if if it's a shemechinam, so obviously a shemechinam that that slips, uh, that breaks this barrel, uh, um, is potter. So one of these things has to be potter. However, Taisu says that a veda, a loss, is going to be chayev. So just if you think about this, a gneva, it's not really your, uh, you didn't really do anything. Someone stole it from you. But an aveda, you sh- kind of should remember where you put it or where you, you should have held it better. And that's why you an uh, other mamazik would be chayav on that. It makes a big a big difference in this. Um, if a person causes damage, uh, when when would when would we say he's chayav? It depends what we compare it to. If we compare it to Geneva, then he'd be pater. If we compare it to Aveda, he would be chayav. Okay.